Do I have any advice for beginners like you in the game, Julian? Um, play with friends because it's fun. Learn together. Um, you can join us if you're subbed to the nut house. You can join our training servers. We'll teach you how to play it. But yeah, just have fun with it. Take your time. Don't rush. What's going harvested? Barley. So you can tell the crop type by, you see this box here to, to, as you look at it, to my right. The blue thing has like the icon that's being harvested. That's the icon for barley. Looks like a feather duster. Which street in St. Helens your mom grew up there? I was born on a street called Hort uh, Horton... Horton Road, I think it was called, in Sutton. Uh, yes, I played Planet Coaster. Right, on my way back. Good, because I'm full and I'm done. Well, I'm not full, but I'm done. Yep. Burger bun. Well, do you want to make your way over to Field 11? It depends if it's the same crop or not. Oh, I'm sure there's the header there as well, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's different. Crop. I don't think the head is going to fit down this road. Let me try. It might fit down the road. I was going to say, it only is next field over. No, I was born in St. Helens Hospital. And that's 10. No, there's a fence. Oh, it works on hedges, but not fences. James Avell, thank you for 11 months. Rivsung, thank you for three. I don't think I'm going to get any further down this road. All right. Mm. Well, I am on my way, so nearly done. It's getting narrower and narrower. Is it last down this farm today? Uh... Don't know, Whiteland. Wait. Eleven's already been harvested. Yeah, half of it has, half of it hasn't. Oh, okay. So um, we need to do, finish the rest of it. Well, whoever, if you think my harvesting's bad, you, you wait till you get here and check this. Oh, okay. I never said your harvesting was bad. I was just giving you a helpful pointer to say, you know, we have got to collect up the hay afterwards. So, you know, that, that was just a helpful pointer. Mm-hmm. Uh, have you tried West Coast Farm? Hmm. It doesn't ring a bell. What about West Coast Farm, Steve? Yeah, I've, I've not heard of it, so I don't think we have done that one. Yeah, I can't harvest this. This is not yeah, wheat. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, it's not barley. It's, it's a uh, different crop. So. Yeah. I'm, I'm nearly there. I'm just coming up to field 10 now. It's a new map that's just been released. Ooh, oh, yeah, I'll have yeah. to look into that one. Well, I have been seeing my listening. Maybe they've got West Coast lined up. Really detailed. Sounds good. Nice. Right, hey, Paul, I remember the first time I played this game, you could have the light you could have the light stay on and beacons so forth. Did the game remove that at all? You can have all the lights stay on and beacons. Yeah, you can you, yeah, you can still do that now. So you can jump out of the vehicle and it keeps them all turned on. I mean, like that, the lights oh, on, yeah, and the engine yeah. on. Easy. That's part of drive control. I believe. I thought it did it by default. Um, I'm not sure. I'm sure it's drive control. Done. 
Sweet. I don't know, Jules. I don't know if it's the um, the last time on the farm. Right. I shall leave this single trailer here. Uh, I'll go and empty the other one. And then, if you need to, you can use that one. What, that one you're leaving there? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to leave the yeah. empty one here for you, just in case I don't get back. Okay. West Coast is by the same mapper as Coldborough Park, which was the very first map you played on Farmson. Yeah, Coldborough Park Farm is a good map. Yeah, that sounds worth trying. See, if it was drive control on Farmson 15, it's default in Farmson 17. Alright, nice. I'm not having a takeaway tonight, guys. No, I am. I'm, I'm good. Hey, Ben Mark. So, again, you coming back? Yeah, I'm on my way back. I just took that one to the grey mill. There was only a little bit, so there's no point driving all that way. True. Am I buying dinner or is it Paul's turn? <laughs> <laughs> I've already eaten. Yeah, I've already had food, so I'm good. I'm learning. <laughs> I think Paul should text Mrs. Squirrel and ask for a cup of tea. Uh huh. You've ordered takeaway tonight, Mrs. Geek Thumb. You're enjoying Destiny 2, Thunderfluff. I can see people sinking many hours into that game. I'm going up and down, Steve. Oh, are you? Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you were going round. Longer that way. Yeah, I see what you mean, how it's a bit of a mess. Mm. It's stripy on this side, spirally on the other, and it's yeah. pretty wonky as well. Yeah, I've noticed that down here. Oh well, it makes things interesting. So what's been the highlight of your week, Steve? Um, Opticians, that's it. Opticians, what for? Yeah, I've got to wear glasses. I keep getting headaches. So. Oh, right. is it because like you're long or short sighted? Um, Can you see things in the distance, or you have trouble reading? No, well, it's just mainly reading. Um, that I need them. Oh, I just need reading glasses. Yeah, I'm supposed to wear them for reading, but I just never did. It's old age. It's what happens when you turn 19. <laughs> Do 
It's alright, I'll shift. No, I'm just going right back in. Oh, okay. Uh, can they come by and drive on autopilot or GPS? Uh, Sic uh, Sicario, the GPS mod gives you kind of autopilot capabilities in the sense that it will lock the direction for you. You can set your own cruise control speed. You can configure it to turn around at the end automatically as well, but that tends to only work on fields where there's you know, like a big gap between the field and something else where you've got hedges all the way around. Um, it tends not to work so well because it tries to drive through the hedges and things like that. So I just manually turn it around and lock it on the straight line. Opinions on the Nintendo Switch. Um, they're, they're pretty, to be fair, Mrs. Geeks, and they're pretty good. We've got one in the house. Um, they've got some great games on it. My son, you know, uses it quite a bit. Like, if you go on holiday, he'll take it. He played with it on the plane all the way there, so... It must be pretty good. So have they said that's what the cause of the headaches is, your your eyesight? Yeah. Um, she says, well, you know how to do the, the put the massive apparatus over your eyes and, you know, then they'll say, can you read those letters over there for me? Yeah. Well, I could read them up to a certain point and then they give you a handheld chart. <laughs> um, and she says, if you, if you can put that where you normally, like, read a book or, you know, a newspaper or something uh, and then read them again. Uh, and then obviously read them once, then she put these different slides in and then she'd say, read it again. Um, so yeah, she just basically just turned around and said, yeah, unfortunately you need glasses. I'm like, oh. So what kind of glasses are you going to get? Are they going to be like very focal or no, they're bifocal? Just gonna be, or? they're just going to be um, for, like when I need to read, I'll put them on. When I don't need to read, I can take the buggers off. Right. You know, the the, le the less time they spend on my face, the better. Yeah. Although I do like look like I uh, can put it. I like the look of when I wear glasses, but it's just, I can see the rims around the outer side, and it's that that I really don't like. It really annoys me. Well, you can get like rimless ones. Yeah, yeah, but I, I'd still be able to see it, and mm. that's what I don't like. But hey ho. Yeah, the trouble is, like, the more sophisticated they are, the more expensive they tend to be. Yep. And they're not cheap. No, they're not. I've gone for the cheapest ones I can get, because it's all I can afford at the moment. Well, you can also get the, um... You can also get the ones that, um... Like, tint automatically, they react to light ones. Ah, uh, react to light. Yeah. And then when you're out in the sun... I no, mean, the trouble is, if they're only reading glasses, you probably don't need to. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not wearing contacts, Mr. Steelman. I've tried them, and I hate putting them in my eyes. And it's just, no, I'd rather not. Well, you could do what, what Gil did and get your eyes laser burned. <laughs> oh, yeah, but I, I saw a video on that because it was, like, one of the options. I mean, it's expensive, but, you know, it's... Where is it something like 90% uh, chance of fixing, where it's, like, 10% of... It could go wrong, and it could either go horribly wrong where you end up blind, or it could go slightly worse than what you already are. Yep. Um, and I looked at a video of how they perform that procedure, and nope. uh, it's nope. horrible. Nope. It is horrible. If you've ever, if you've never watched it, don't, because it is. It's just one of those videos you watch and you think, oh, they're doing that to your eye. They're like shaver. Very oh, don't. <laughs> <laughs> when Gil described it to me, I was yeah, I, I, I was like, "Why did you sign up for this? <laughs> why? Why?" Yeah. It actually just makes me feel queasy, kind yeah, of just same. thinking about what they do to your eyes. Yep, same. They, I, it's like they shave that layer off, and then that's oh. it. No, 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 thank. You. Yeah, and you're awake. You can see it all happening. Yeah, like, that's no the thing. Way. That's nope. not only awake, but you have your eyes pinned open. <laughs> you have to put drops in now and again to numb it, because you, yep. like, your eyes are not... You're just literally being held open. Yep. And then they're, like, slicing layers off your eye and then nope. lasering it, and you're like, what? Yep. I'd rather not, thanks. Just no way. 
you would ha literally have to knock me out to do that exactly i'm the same i mean i don't mind for like going to the dentist or things like that i mean i'm i'm frightened of the dentist i hate going to the dentist because it scares me but if i go then i've got to go that's fine you know i'll have the work done and i'll get on with it and i'll deal with it you don't have to put me to sleep but if it's anything like that then no thanks put me to sleep get it over and done with at least i can't protest at least i'm not awake at least i'm not conscious <laughs> just knock me out yeah or at least let me go and have 20 pints first so i can knock myself out yeah. indeed ferret right. all right like paralytic drops as well just uh... oh yeah, yeah just no jules yeah, I'd, I'd rather not i have half rim glasses they're quite good but I wanted the rimless glasses, but they are too expensive for you. Half rim. Yeah, it's like the top half of them, yeah. the rimmed. And then glass on the bottom. Not. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've, I've just gone for the ones that are um, glass. Um, but then it's just got a little bit of metal in the bridge and then a bit of metal where you, you know, where the, the arms are. And that's it. So they are rimless, but you can, I can still see the rims. I can still see the outline of the, the glass. How are you doing, Ferret Bomb, by the way? How's work life treating you now? Visit? That's not something I actually want to see. <laughs> no, I'd rather not either. <laughs> you can keep that. <laughs> Ferret, I noticed you were playing Mario games this week. Was that on a Switch or was that on something else? Get a monocle. A monocle, <laughs> yeah. I'd, I'd look like Monopoly Man. <laughs> oh, good morning, you, sir. Get two monocles. <laughs> <laughs> Just like holding your eyes like... Holding your eyes like, hello, good morning. <laughs> Another person who loves the Switch. There you go. Someone was, was asking yeah. what the Switch is like. Miss, Mrs. Geekton was asking about it. Ferret, and I said, like, I, like, we've got one in the house, but I don't really play with it very much. But my son tends to use it. But she was saying, are they any good? So, um, I guess you're saying you love it. It must be. Who remembers the game Duck Hunt on Nintendo 64? Oh, I remember that. Uh, you used to get the, the wireless, well, I say wireless gun, the gun that you used to have to aim to your TV. Yeah. I remember that. I used to love, like, the, the kind of, where you had the gun controllers. Yeah. But they're never quite accurate enough. No, they weren't. <laughs> I used to put it right up to the screen, and it still never hit the same target. I think they're back in stock now, Mrs. Geekcom. If you're even thinking about getting a Switch for somebody for Christmas, uh, my suggestion is you get your order in quick. Because by the time you get to, like, November, honestly, I'd be amazed if you can actually get one. They've been in pretty short supply, all some of those things. I remember when I bought one, I... I had to hunt around and I eventually found one at, I think I found them at game or something in the end but there were like most retails were just completely wiped clean yeah I can't imagine Mrs Geek <laughs> mum's the word right <laughs> can City Skylines My Summer Car and Farmer Sim be played on PlayStation so uh, Skylines they released on was it PlayStation or Xbox? Um, they went on to one. Was, yeah. Went on one console. Mice and Macar, not a chance. Farming Sim, yes. Being able to just lay down and play Zelda is great. <laughs> that sounds fun. Leave your pipe, you can get that bit and then come in empty. Uh, let's see, Rivsung, three months, track R25 Pro with the resume, thank you. Bit too oh, fast for yeah. you. <laughs> Bit too fast for you. 36 months, hello, Paul, three years of awesome entertainment. Where does the time go? I spent, I've sent you a gift for your PO box earlier today. 
Here's so many more years to come. Wow, thank you very much, Bit Too Fast. Happy anniversary, sir. Three years. I know I've said this before, but I'll, one day I hope to get Twitch will release um, loyalty badges for three and four years. And then you'll get it oh, a bit too yeah, fast. Yeah. I shall look out for the PO box. I think what we need to do is put it on the forum, you know, on the developer forum, say, you know, we want this, and then people can upvote it. And then if we get people in your channel to upvote it, people in my channel to upvote it, at least then, you know, it's going to get to Upvote oh, what, what? Sorry. So basically. Oh, the three and four years. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you'd create a, a post on the development yeah. forum. And then just get people to go there and upvote it. Right. So they click on like, and then it will hopefully bring it to Twitch's attention. Because it definitely is something that we need. Oh, it's, it's crazy that it's not been done yet. Yeah. They're putting all kinds of stuff in, but they're not building that. Yeah, what's this thing that they're putting in now? Extensions or something? Is, I, I can't imagine it's going to be very long... I can't imagine it's hard to do. They've already done it for one and two years, and three months, yeah. and six months. So surely they just go... If subscribe months is greater than 24, have this icon. If yep. subscribe months is greater than 36, have this one. It's literally got to be like one line entry in the code somewhere for each one. Yeah. And, they can't, and they're not rolling it out. I don't get it. I don't get what's yeah, taken so they long. They should. Right, where's the um, trailer? Is it all the way down the thing? Uh, yeah, I think it's back on where we started. Can you bring it back here? Uh, I'm just going to go and empty these, but if you want me to, I can. Well... I can't, I, there's no way I can load onto that trailer without a tractor. Okay, give me a second. So I, I can't put the header on there anyway. Give me a second, I'll get turned around. I uh, know Mad Mick had it, but I don't know what he did with it. Jules, the sensor on the old Nintendo gun was useless. City Skylines went to PS4. Thank you, Reaper of Twitch. Oh, come on. Mad Mix doing it, he said. Yeah, I've just turned around as well. <laughs> what a scumbag. Oh, come on. Mad Mix doing it, he said. Jules, have you seen... Um, have a look at my Twitch page, Jules. On the browser. Have a look at the info. And scroll down, you'll see your name somewhere down there. I don't know if you've seen it yet. Nope, nobody's mentioned it, so I assume nobody spotted it yet. What's this? What? I'm just getting Jules to have a look at my Twitch page. Oh, right, okay. You should know Twitch backend by now, Paul. No way they make it so easy. Right, then you must know that that code's got to be one line. Hasn't it? <laughs> what the heck? I was getting pushed. <laughs> <laughs> I could see. You can't find the Easter egg. What Easter egg? Oh, wait, the duck's Easter egg in here, yeah. Exactly, Gar. I, I, I need to have a look at your Twitch page now. If you're referring him to your Twitch page, I need to have a look. That looks about right. Normally people swap these things, but nobody spotted it, I don't think. I need to have a look. Oh, God. What? So that happened. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my god, no! It's actually attached to the trailer, but it's fallen off. Oh Whoa. my god. How are we going to fix this? <laughs> I can see that. Um. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Jules, you're number one. <laughs> The best drop ever. Cheerleaders are no right, Whiteland. What a great name. Is that all part of the Twitch extensions then? That's an extension, yeah. All oh, right. That you can so get you and it can shows do you. That. It yeah, shows yeah. a bit. I've tried doing that on my thing, but when I click on edit panels for the past four days, I've not not been able to. I can't actually attach this header back on because I can't get on the other side of the trailer to. So dumb. To get the left music ready here.
The problem is, is the game has locked the header onto the trailer. <laughs> yeah, oh. so there's there's no way of getting that off. You created a post and developed a forum about loyalty badges, says Luke. Let's have a look. Right, so how do we... So what you need to do on that post, you need to click the love heart, and then, like, I've clicked it, so it's got one like, and then if someone else clicks it, it'll have another like, and then etc. Yeah, but you have to sign in and everything, don't you? Uh, yes. Unfortunately. Do it later. got six likes on it <laughs> <laughs> so yeah if people just click that link and then click the love heart then it'll boost it and hopefully it'll bring it to twitch's attention i'm in an elevator yep elevator music mate Girls can't find what we're talking about. Can't find what we're talking about. I'm not sure what you mean, Jules. I, I mean, think he means underneath the stream. He can't see it. Can't see it, Jules. It's right, I can see it. It's right at the very bottom, Jules. Bottom right hand side. Uh, bottom left hand side. You have to look underneath the Twitch stream. It's a massive panel, Jules. You can't miss it. <laughs> Quick, Kai, thank you for 15 months. Hooray! Uh-oh. Yeah, Whiteland, I think he's on about the panel that's underneath the Twitch stream, not the loyalty badges one. It's not showing up for you either, Jamie. Are you it's in a browser? Are you in a browser or are you perhaps in a um, Twitch app or something? Maybe it only shows in a browser. I can see. You can't see the panel, Ferret? Hmm. I can see it clear as day. Okay, let me... Uh... You want me to screenshot it? No, I'm just going to put it up on stream now. All right, okay. Pause that. So we don't get streamception. 
scroll down and then wait, you should load. There you go. I had to hit refresh and then it, you can see the panel here. There you go, now it's loaded. So it didn't load initially until it hit refresh and then it did, so... I, had to uh, refresh. I guess it was just being a bit... Heck, I guess weird. it was being a bit weird. But there it is though. So you've got weekly, monthly, all time. Cheerleaders, Len. <laughs> <laughs> Things will sound like they're in an American high school. Yeah. Two, three, give me, four. <laughs> give me an S. S, give me a, <laughs> give me a Q. <laughs> Yeah, don't forget to pick up your header. Yeah, I'm going to gain it now. Assuming it's still where it was. It should be. It's a human better, pyramid of cheerleaders. Pyramid. <laughs> oh my god, my header's now in a field full of crops. No, oh, wow. this field was empty a minute ago. It is not our crop, so we don't own the field. And you won't damage it because it's still early stage of growth. Reaper of Twitch, uh, Squirrel Fail and Squirrel has forgotten to sign in as admin. You know the day I've had. I got out of the flight school very late because my instructor overran on his um, flying lesson beforehand. So instead of getting home at four, uh, instead of getting home at uh, half past three, I got home at quarter past four, which then gave me forty-five minutes to eat food and prep for a stream, which is not enough. So, I'll log in as admin. But Steve can always tell you how much money we have. Uh, £439,238. I think I've just gone into somebody's house. Oh, no. <laughs> nope, the house has a shortcut through. Nope, this is not... Is this my farm? No, you've gone... You turn right instead of turning left. What even is this place? It is where the cows are. Yeah, it is part of our farm, but you turn right instead of turning left. What did Motley say then? Leave what? Leave the combine Leave the next combine to the header there. in the main yard for the workers to you. Next to the header? Yeah. Yeah, because they're going to use it. We're going to do the brewing. We're going to make some wheat a bit. So actually, while you're at the cows, do you want to get a bottle of milk? A uh, bottle of milk. Those were the days. Mm. Right, what are we doing? Bailing. Bailing. Uh, need to find bailers first. Find a tractor. Ooh, we've got round bales this time. Wait, why the... Oh, they're different. Hmm. Martin6024, it isn't a lot, but hopefully a help. Keep up the amazing streams. Always a help, Martin. Always appreciate it. Thank you. Where are the bailing attachments again? South. 
uh, southeast of the map. If you see where I am, so keep going down there, keep going straight forward, and turn right, 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 right. Okay, I see. You, you missed it. Yeah, you have to come round this side. Yeah, I'm trying to drop this weight. Uh, why? I've got a weight on the front. I want to drop it. Yeah, you need it. You'll need it though. Why? Well, it'll help with the balance of the tractor. I thought we're supposed to have one on the back. No, Baylor goes on the back. I meant when we do the next stage. Oh yeah, yeah, for the yeah, I see. Ah, you can still leave the weight on there, but you can put it on the back when needed. Yeah, you can if you can detach it. <laughs> yeah, true. You try and detach in that weight. Yeah, I'll I'll figure that out when I need to. <laughs> Before you ask, no, I've not finished watching that episode of <laughs> film. You never will. <laughs> Which way did you go? Left? Uh, turn left as I pulled out of there. Yeah. And actually, I've gone the wrong way. Turn around. Turn around when possible. Gun. Can't blame him for that. You just did a U-turn. I know. That's like <laughs> well. a taxi driver doing U-turn and blaming you for being on the road. You're like, what? I didn't do anything. <laughs> right, so we'll go and do field uh, nine first, and then on to eleven. Uh, exactly, Kibberton never its finest. <laughs> Zuckster three months, so happy to have been paid uh, part of this community for three months. You've been helping me a lot with getting through my first years of college. Thank you and keep up the amazing work. Dude, thank you. You'll be fine. You'll settle into college. Everybody goes through that. Rosie with two months. Yay. Guard 444 777. 30 months. Two and a half years. Also, it's my birthday today. Happy birthday, uh, uh, Gerard 444 777. All the best. Hope you had a great day. Yonkey, seven months. Two to go for baby hype. How do you turn this thing on again? Quinkai with 15. Um, you have to deploy it with X first. Oh, no, you need to put the goddamn PPO on. And you need to V to lower it. And then you just turn yeah, it on. Go. Yeah, I didn't put the PTO on. Gotcha. Keep an eye out for when it starts beeping. That's what you need to stop. Uh, this is the weird unload one, isn't it? Yep. Or is it? Hang on, I don't see the load-up icon. It's on 98%. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you have to do it yourself. It's beeping at me. Yeah, you have to press Y to unload, and then press Y again to close it. Yeah, this is a different one, isn't it? Because it's got round bells. We didn't have this one last time. No, we had square bales. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. Nighttime bailing though. Mm, it's looking that way. If you don't move side to side, you'll get lopsided bales. <laughs> I think in the game it doesn't really matter. You saw those working in real life. 
They're amazing. It's trying to judge exactly when to stop on 100%. Yeah. That's what I find the problem. It starts beeping at like 70. Yeah, exactly. I know, right, Baz? I wouldn't put these in my bowl and put milk on them. <laughs> Rectangles all the way. Squirrels and Nutter, thank you for the shoe. Real magics, thank you for the resume. You missed a bit. Yeah. So, so did I. <laughs> Those big, like, piles of them are really hard to get the whole thing. Yeah. chance of me going back to OMSI. I don't know, I'll do OMSI at some point. I don't I don't seem to have a craving for it right now. It's like synchronized bailing. <laughs> <laughs> Lotus of to skills. Wow, you and Blue Brothers. <coughs> Thirty six months, three years. 30? 30 36 months. I was going to say 30 and it went <laughs> 3 years instead. 36 months, 3 years, kaboom! 36 months and one of 36 months it's been, but a difficult time uh, health wise oh, yeah. and the eye injections, but still here. Congrats, dude. Thank you for 3 years of support, that's awesome of you. Eye injections are never a good thing. I hope you've got through it okay. Ice Stig 34, thank you for eight months. Toon Dude, 15 months, woohoo! Nice to meet you at I61, keep up the great streams of farming. Thank you, Toon Dude. I61 already feels like a long way off. <laughs> like, yeah. like it was ages ago, but it wasn't. Put these on the bailing thing. Uh, great difficulty. Just wait until you see one rolling away down the field. <laughs> I've done this on slope fields and it, it doesn't yep. work too well. They all end up at the bottom of the field, which is, is good for one thing, but bad for another. It's good because they're easy to pick up because they're all in the same place. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes they end up rolling through hedges. Uh, that are non-clippable or clippable. Pulpy, how are you doing, sir? I remember you from my 61 as well. You was the guy who got beat by Jamie. Ah. <laughs> oh, burn. <laughs> yeah, but John beat me, so... <laughs> John beat me, Jamie beat him, so I mean, you know. Fair enough. <clears throat> Thank you for nine months. I didn't know you was having a Twitch baby, Pulp John. Hang on, Jules. You're getting two chocolate donuts shortly. Well, I hope you enjoy them, Jules. Now, if you said to me, Jules, that you were going to get two Krispy Kremes, that might be a different proposition. I nearly went and bought some of them today. <laughs> <laughs> I've not had any for ages. 
Yeah, I, I nearly went and bought some and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to save my money instead. Hey, my phone. You've got a kebab on the way. Wow. Thursday night takeaway action. Oh, there's 100% things doing my head in. I think what it was is, you know how last week you were saying, I want this thing to beep at me when it's got four in? Well, yep, it's beeping at you now when it's at 100%. So, I think that's why they've done it. Although I do oh, like round yeah. bales. I prefer the round ones better than the square. What, as in the shape of them all? Well, yeah. I, I just prefer doing round bales rather than square. Yeah, you won't say that when we have to put them on the back of a trailer. True. You'd be like, you stupid round bales. <laughs> Chicken caves. You're gonna smell lovely. Jules, my Tesco's don't do them donuts. Nah, they don't, Jules. I'm surprised Tesco don't do a, a kind of a knockoff Krispy Kreme though. They do they imitate everything else, why not Krispy Kreme? Well, the one near me, they sell Krispy Kremes. That's where I get them from. I'm pretty certain my Tesco do as well. I think they have to be a certain size or if you have a bakery yeah. or something like that. So guys, I took one step closer to um, getting my kitchen sorted out. Oh, I had yeah. a guy around this week and you know, we discussed plans and everything. And uh, I showed him the Wix plans and I showed him the hilarious quote from Wix and we both laughed heartily <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, we've sorted out what it is we want to do now there's a few things that I need to do or rather we need to do which is like sort out the worktop and tiles and you know pick the patterns basically but he's provisionally booked in to start mid-October nice. um, and the work's going to take about three weeks that's not bad though, that. No, it's not bad. I mean, he's only one guy, that's the thing, so. Yeah. yeah it takes him a bit longer. But so he's, he's doing do, everything. He's, he's doing everything, like yeah, he's tiling. Doing and floor and tiling, electrics, units, everything. Right. Painting, wall tiles, every, everything except gas. I have to get somebody in to move a gas yeah, pipe around. So, yeah. That's going to be three weeks pretty much without a kitchen, though, which is not going to be easy. It's going to be enjoyable, you're going to have plenty of takeaways. Well, imagine all the stuff that we can't have in the kitchen anymore, and yeah. then and then microwave and everything. But I'm going to get one of those big double fridges. I'm going to get one of those big fridges oh, with a American water style. thing in it. Yeah. yeah. Dispensers. That's going to be fun. I'd love one of those. Yeah, I've always wanted one. I've never had one. I'm going to get one this time, though. Nano leaves. What's a nano leaf? You get some nano leaves and leads in your kitchen. Nano leaves. What's that? Hope jump. A hot plate for cooking. Yeah, I mean we thought about the um, the electric, what they call like a uh, induction electric one, glass yeah, plate. He said you can also get a gas one that's um, it's like a glass hob, but it's actually a gas hob. He said they're pretty stylish as well. Next level RGB lighting. Yeah, we discussed getting some some lighting underneath the um, underneath the units. But if I wanted to get RGB, I think none of these are those light up display panels, aren't they? Um, hmm. How do I get those, Pope John? I mean, do I just order RGB strips from eBay, or is there a particular thing I need for a kitchen? Well, I've got. 
them, uh, you know, them LED strips oh, that are the yeah, RGB. Yeah. I've got them underneath my like floor counter things, and they do actually look really good when they're on. Yeah, but I mean, if you're going to have it under your kitchen units, I don't know. Yeah, it's a good tip that Brora. Didn't think of that. Induction top is amazing. Yeah, but like Barora says, you need to get magnetic pans for it to work. <laughs> they have their own thing. It makes strip better than strips. You see, my uh, my fitter guy probably won't have heard of them, so that's going to be something I need to, to find where to get. Where do you buy them from, Pope John? Sisal Kitchen Bowl. Yeah, is it a DLC? <laughs> True, Barora. I guess if you always buy copper bottom pans, you're always going to get magnetic ones. <laughs> what company are you looking at? Uh, magnet for the unit. He, he's always uh, used magnets and he can get pretty good discounts from them, apparently. Reaper of Twitch, hello school, just thought I'd, uh, I, I'd do something a little special for you, bud. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Westy1010, two months, keep, uh, keep taking my money. Thank you, Westy. Uh, online, I think the top package for like 16 pieces is 600 quid. Ow. Wait, for RGB lights? How does that work? Will blow your mind and bank account open. Six hundred quid's too much, man. I mean, it sounds good. Don't get me wrong, but six hundred quid. A very quick hello from a balcony in Tenerife, Doctor D. Hope you're enjoying yourself. You can find Nunnally's website here. Vrom, can you paste that into the memos, please? And then I'll uh, I can pick it up later. You got an induction unit as well to kill. Her. I've always had a gas hob. Is is an induction? It's like an electric hob. However, when you take the pan off, you can put your hand straight on where the pan. Yeah, I know was what it is. I just it's cold. I know what it is. I I just mean from experience of people who've had them, what are they like to use? I don't know. Like. What's it like on power consumption, for example? Is it better than gas, or... I don't know. They sound great. They're not cheap, though. Do we get a kitchen unboxing? Not really. <laughs> I'm just going to leave that guy alone. Thanks, Rome. You have gas hobs, the, the glass tops will worry about scratching them if you can if you use cast iron. Well I don't use cast iron. But he was saying that you can get um, you can get like the latest gas hobs for it are basically like the induction, they're like a flat ceramic or glass top and the gas come the flame comes through somehow. I don't know how it works. I've not seen them yet. I'm gonna see it when I go to Magnet. Lower power and much easier, Mum loves those. Oh, Safe yeah. for cats too. <laughs> That's true. Cat friendly. <laughs> Raya, you missed morph delivery. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hang on. We've got a bale wandering. Who has? Me. It's just. Yeah, it's rolling away. I can see it. Long. It's rolling away. <laughs> run, Bale, run! <laughs> it's going to join its friends. Let's see. Toon Dude, Pulp John Morph. I figured out those round bales. Once they're collected, a bunch of fat people sit on them and they squash them down to become shredded wheat. Well, that's good to know. Is that how shredded wheat gets made? La Bandida. Thank you for half a year. Apple Sim Gamer. For, sorry, Aspie Sim Gamer with the resume. Uh, it says, another month flown by, only 108, day 108 days till Christmas. 
Can I ask you still do the editing on YouTube vids because it has gone up another level? It's wonderful and hilarious back to lurking. Uh, no, I have an editor now, Aspie, so I can do more recording time. Oh, nice. Um, actually, Aspie Sim Gamer, do you want to try a new command which may or may not be working? I think it got pulled in last night. You can try it. There should be a command, and I've not tried this yet, called exclamation mark until Xmas. And it should tell you how long it is until Christmas. So you can try it and see if it works. Well, is it your son doing all the editing now then? Or? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, he's editing. Frees me up it, from doing it. Yeah, I'm going to say it takes a load off you then, doesn't it? Yeah. Hey, there you go. There you go. Hundred and Can I ask why? 108 days, 5 hours and 58 minutes till Christmas. <laughs> why though? Why? Boom! <laughs> right, there's another one you can try called exclamation mark until yachts and that will tell you how long it is until uh, the yachts anniversary which is 2nd of April of course. Um, so you've got that one. Because the command's useful because people are always asking about Christmas and now they can just find out themselves. There you go. 206 days, 5 hours, 58 minutes till yacht. <laughs> um, you've got exclamation mark until B-Day, which is how long it is until my birthday. Now that one is actually quite useful, I'll agree. But I think it also tells you Mrs. Squirrel's birthday and Dawes' birthday if it's been done properly. If not, hashtag blame Dre. <laughs> there you go. 292 days until my birthday, 334 until Mrs. Squirrels, and 315 until Doyle's. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, Easter moves around. That's the, the problem with doing Easter is every year it changes. So you have to That's work true. it out for each year. It's a pain. Because it's based on like a Christian event and that moves around based on the moon and God knows what else. Uh, David Big... David Big Mac McClure. <laughs> Thank you for subbing. Can we give David Big Mac a nutty welcome, guys? Thank you for your support. Welcome to Nerdhouse. I want my kids. I don't need a command for my kids. Can we get until Paul is faster than Pulpy at Gherkin racing? You <laughs> want? 